We're not doing that because that's how you get in trouble at school. My that's mom was because. No, she does not. She, she just had... texted me and said, you better not be influencing Joey to cuss. No. <laughs> Not shit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well today we're kind of having a day in the life slash busco prep video. I want to show you guys we just bought a new truck for the channel slash probably my business. We're also going to go pick up the tires for the Renegade. We've got to put the tires on the X3 for busco for Luke to ride around that. And the new cage because we caught two videos ago when we were at Sea Boys. Kind of flipped the side by side and bent the cage. So I want to get that changed out before we go to Busco this weekend. Also in this video, we're going to go stop by my buddy Jake's to pick up my pit bike because the little man over here wants to ride it. We're going to go check out his sick track that he's in the middle of building and then catch you guys back at the house. So first stop, we got to do some returns and then we'll catch you at Jake's. See you in a minute. So we're pulling up to my buddy Jake's. If you guys follow Miller's channel, you've probably seen Jake, met Jake. He rides pit bikes, big bikes, does a lot of races and whatnot. But he just got done doing a little pit bike track behind his house. Actually, the freaking he has D5 dozer here. Oh, I forgot. So Jake's built a foam pit under this giant carport that he has. He got all those foam blocks. Look at the ramp over there. The X Games ramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so let me show you guys around the new truck. But Jake, what do you think of the new truck? Dude, the thing's Dude, sick. It so it's all red oh, underneath. So it's not paint job. No, 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 it's a wrap. So, but I don't know if I like the red or just leave the wrap. Honestly, I kinda like the wrap. Should we take the wrap off and make it red or leave it with the wrap? But first we're gonna back it down, eat our Taco Bell, and then we'll go through the truck with Jake. Last week, I actually had the opportunity to buy this truck. It's a 2014 F350 Lariat. Basically a twin to my white truck, just red with a black interior, and it's an F350. So this was originally built as a Baja chase truck. It's got a three inch Cognito lift with 18 inch wheels and 35. Some stuff's paint matched like the grill on this. And then the bed is a Douglas bed. These things are freaking expensive. And then it's got a metal basket rack thing for probably like spare tires. It does have rigid pods back here, which are super bright for backing up. So it's got airbags under here. I think they're like five 5,000 pound airbags and they're on these little sway bar things which auto adjust so as you put more weight in them and the airbags go down it'll compensate and so it'll never squat the truck and the interior is in like dang near perfect condition i don't know if we're gonna make it the ultimate like off-road like travel truck because it's super badass or i'm probably gonna use it for work for a little bit we're going desert racing desert i mean that's what it's built for <laughs> just leave the two pitters up on the rack <laughs> so the guy who had it he raced for polaris but like it's already all it's still laid out with all the tags that he had on there uh, i put all my Ooh, stuff I like that. Oh, hub nice. assembly front diff rear cow like i guess that's how he had this thing laid out do you have a picture of this thing like all set up with all the rigs and stuff on it no not yeah. with that stuff but i do have pictures when it was new there's no rust at all this thing's spotless it's, it's got sick. a 65 gallon gas or fuel tank Damn. it's like 320 dollars to fill up it's all stock other than that like motor wise so we might delete it i'm not sure Besides Let's, the point of showing Jake the truck, he's been bugging me to look at it. Jake, what did you build? A pit bike track. This is going to be the landing. For the pit then, bikes or for your big bikes? Everything. These are good size jumps. These are like anybody amateur could ride these, but then exactly. somebody with some skill could actually send these jumps exactly. pretty good. We just won't let Luke jump it because yeah. last time he rode a pit bike, he split his shin open. Uh, That's what the mud pit you got going on here. Bounty hole. Pit bike bounty hole. <laughs> What's up, Frank? You know what the real freaking blessing was is that D3 dozer you got. Hey, you know my favorite um, part of this? Like back there, there's like a mini pond over there. I'll give you a dollar if you jump in it. No, 50 eh. bucks. All right, we're going to get this bike loaded up. Head on over to Braden's, go get my 32s for the Renegade. Throw them on the Renegade. Fix the X3 for Busco. A little too small. Hey, look. You're a little too small. Try this bike right here. <laughs> yeah. Holy sh**. That's for a freaking dude. Two people could fit on that thing. <laughs> Hold on, we can wheelie it. Oh, we're going to try and wheelie it. Oh. All right, ready? Uh, uh, you're not doing yeah, it! Yeah, yeah. Alright, ready? Yeah. Uh, you're... Oh, shit. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. Uh. We chillin', boys. <laughs> there we go. Big Papa. Big Papa's yeah. gotta use his wheelchair. <laughs> Alright, let's load this pit bike up and get over to Braden's. Oh, boys! We're at Braden's. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if he's home. And if he's not, we're gonna steal these tires. And if he is, then we'll maybe pay him for them. Play ya. Bro, Leah, what? chill out, dude. Look, look at this dog. So if you didn't know, I actually have a set of 32s on order. They're just not gonna be here in time for Bosco. And they're actually 32 inch EFX. These are like 37s or something, so way too big for what I need. But Braden's got a set of 32 assassinators that he had on his old Renegade that he does not need. So we're gonna buy them for the weekend and then use them. And then if I don't like them, I'll just resell them. If I do like them, I'll keep them. And then I'll have a set of assassinators. The bronze with the- bronze with the tan, like it's not a bad idea, but it's not my favorite. So let's get these things on the truck and we'll catch you guys at the house. <laughs> Yeah. 
The only thing I am scared about is when you come down out of a wheelie is they might grab the headlights. So we just gotta be careful with that, keep an eye on that. My wheel bearings are good for now. My wheel bearings are tight. I wonder how much ground clearance we should, let me grab a tape measure. So I guess that's one difference compared to like the Outlanders. Yeah, cause I was talking to Braden about it. He was like, I thought of putting these on my Outlander, but I'd have to get floorboarded to clear them. What were we before, 13 and a half? Yeah. So we are 15. So we, so we gained an inch and a half of ground clearance. Oh my God, dude, this is close. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, we'll just rub this a little bit. I guess let's pull outside, get these wheels cleaned up, get some good shots of it, and then we'll pull the X3 in, get the cage ready, and the wheels and tires for that. And then we'll almost be ready for bus care. Just gotta get waders and my clothes. And we'll be on the road tomorrow after work. Dude, these things are big. Does it ride like Yeah, it's bumpy. So when Finn sees a reflection of light, so right now the sun's bouncing off the camera and bouncing back. Anyway, this is what I gotta deal with with Ben. <laughs> Look at this boy's face. <laughs> All right, so the X3 is now pulled in here. The Renegade is pretty much finished and prepped for Busco. Now that we've got this thing all together, I actually just got done posting my last video and started reading some of the comments. So we got the 32s, rag kit, rear rack, tune, all the RJWC stuff. So the only thing I plan on doing on this in the future is maybe some nitrous and a built lower motor, but that won't be probably till winter time. Will I even consider doing that stuff? Back to the X3. So this is the 2022 Can-Am X3, uh, XRS with the smart shock. And we had it set up for ripping around the jumps and stuff. We just came back from Sea boys And while we were there, if you didn't catch that video, I unfortunately rolled this thing and bent the roll bar right there. So outside, We've got one off of another machine right there. It's just a stock one. I will be getting one built for my X3. It just won't be here in time and I needed one for this weekend. So I've got to pull that off and get that installed. So let's get started. All right, so quick update. We got these eight cage bolts out and now I'm gonna pull these back fender flares off to get these two bolts. And then I've got to put, actually, I don't think I told you, but most of you guys probably already know, I've got this set of 33s. I usually put on the X3 whenever we go to Mud Bash. And these trail tires kind of suck there. Actually, I forgot the film for a second, but here's where we're at. This thing is a crop top now. Guys, I had a little bit of a talk in the last video. This is more of like a learning moment right here, but I had a talk in my last video when I did crash my side-by-side -side with Ken and, and like we saw how the cage collapsed a little bit on us and it really goes to show if you're jumping or doing anything serious, go spend the money and put a good cage on it. I mean, I'm not really leading by example with putting another stock cage back on it, but my cage is being built. I can't get it in time for the event that we're going to. We're not going jumping, we're literally just cruising around. It just goes to show if they do bend, what can happen with Big Ken, so. Still, actually I just talked to him the other day, he's doing good, he's got another month in his neck brace. It was definitely a wake up call to get rid of these stock cages if you're doing some serious stuff. Back to the fun, let me toss this cage on. I think Julius is stopping by, he's gonna give me a hand loading this thing on. And then tomorrow after work, we're gonna load up the truck and get ready to roll the bus go tomorrow night. And I am excited to see how this thing lasts. I have a feeling I'm gonna either be blowing a belt or blowing some axles, because these 32s are friggin' heavy. All right, so it's the next day and we got the roll cage on and uh, I gotta be honest, the black, it matches up with the plastics now and stuff. So you might be wondering why I'm filming. Kyle's at work right now and I have to do my duty of switching these tires with these. I don't even know the name of these. I'm gonna put these wheels on. I'm not a mechanic or I don't mess with cars or I don't mess with anything. I mess with cameras and I take computers apart. I don't take cars apart. I don't do any of that. So if I'm looking stupid, sorry. I'm just the guy who shoots the video and edits the footage. So, all right, let's get these wheels on. <laughs> Did you film it? Yeah, I filmed me putting them on. That's <laughs> even better. It'd be good to reverse backing out of mud holes now. You got <laughs> all the tread in reverse, just not the right way, buddy. Yeah. I literally said, and I quote, this is why I'm behind the camera. I don't, simple stuff, tires. I don't do it. Everybody's gonna be punching the computer screens while you're while you're putting the tires on. Like, you're doing it backwards, you idiot. And it's gonna cut to the scene of me telling you 
you're an idiot. So wheels and tires are on. So I just gotta wait for Kyle to get home and he's gonna put all the plastics back together. So yeah, that's all done. I'm actually gonna touch on something that some of you guys, some of you guys actually text me on Instagram and ask me about like, oh, the camera stuff, this, that. What GoPro do you guys use? What camera do you guys use? And so I'm actually gonna take time and show you guys what, what we don't really show in the videos, which is like all of our stuff that we use to film the videos and how I set it all up. And if you guys don't care about camera stuff or wanna know about the GoPros that we use, just skip to this time if you wanna skip over all the camera stuff. But if you do care about it, I'm gonna go over all the stuff we use and yeah this is actually everything that we use to film all the videos so starting here we got three gopros these two are gopro 8 and this is a 7 and so these are our battery chargers that we use these are just sticky mounts and pegs and stuff so on this side is the camera side these are the batteries i use for my camera this is my other lens i have this is a super zoomy lens basically and then this is a mounting piece that can mount my microphone and this light super bright I guess the last thing I forgot to mention is this drone that we use. This is actually a DJI Mavic Mini 2. My laptop, which I edit all the videos off of. 2022 MacBook Pro. I actually use Final Cut Pro. You can only get it on the Apple laptops. The last thing is what camera do we film on? So we film all of our videos on a Sony. More specifically, it's an A7 IV. You know, we got the mic on it with the, if you guys are wondering what this does, everybody asks, all it does is just block out wind whenever it's super windy, has the flip out screen. It can go all the way around. So if you're vlogging, you can, you can see yourself. I do have more stuff. I have, I do have like a gimbal, and, but we don't really use that for the videos because there's no point. Also, if you are filming videos, don't waste your money on these. I, I see a lot of new people like buy those for their phones when they want to start filming videos. You don't need to buy this. Me and Kyle always get the question of, oh, I want to start YouTube. What should I get to, you know, start YouTube, whatever. And you don't need a fancy camera and all this crazy stuff. All you really need is good content, an iPhone or a phone to film off of. And if you're doing like off-road stuff or whatever, I do recommend a GoPro, but you don't have to spend the money to get a GoPro, but it makes it a lot easier. We literally started this channel with a GoPro, my mom's computer that I edited off of, and Kyle's phone that he filmed off of. So if you watch all the old videos, it's nothing special. It's, you have to film something interesting. You can't film you just standing there. Nobody gives a crap. And we do get that question a lot, but that's pretty much the secret to it is just have good content. If you guys have any questions about cameras, about whatever, just shoot me a message on Instagram. It's my Instagram and I'll respond to everybody. So if you have any questions, just, just ask. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna get this clean and the Renegade clean. I'm gonna wash them down. I might film a little bit of that, but yeah, I will catch you guys when Kyle gets home and after all that, so. See you then. All right, so I got home from work a little bit later than I planned on it, so the red truck's still packed out full of tools, so we're gonna take the white truck instead, even though I wanted to surprise everybody with the red truck, but oh well. Actually, we got Tim's Honda loaded up, so he's gonna meet us out there after work tomorrow. We got the old Renegade up here already. We have the X3, and then actually I snuck my stock Renegade tires under here. Maybe I might find somebody that wants to trade me a setup for either those, or I might trade these, because I really wanna get some Aztec for the Renegade. Um, other than that, we're loaded up, strapped down. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek. This is a, this is a professional way to strap down four-wheelers you do x pattern underneath the four-wheeler from this side all the way to the back and then from here all the way to the other side pulls it both directions and then literally they're stiff and they don't move anywhere and you don't have to worry about straps coming undone i've done plenty of road trips holds up every time i always see people like go from here to here and then by the end you get to wherever you're going and the freaking straps have fallen off so that's my sneaky hack for strapping shit down we're gonna get on the road we got about a three hour drive to busco we'll be getting meeting up with miller gonna cruise around tonight and then we'll catch you guys in the morning <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Bosco, motherfuckers! You're with your lights. It looks like an alien spaceship. Miller, I think they really frown upon donuts in the vendor lot. Nah, there ain't no vendors. We're the vendors. We're the vendors. <laughs> Am I ready for bed? Yes. Does Miller look like he's having a good time? Yes. So what are we gonna do? Go have a good time. Let's get riding. Hey, at least we're not stuck this time. That dude is stuck, stuck. Don't yank on it, winch. You dumbass. They need to pull him backwards. Yeah, here you see a wild Kyle helping out that random guy. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Party bar, but we rolled up to the old bounty hole. Hell yeah! Oh, he's buried. Finally finished this freaking video. This is the part that you guys don't see. It is five, almost thirty in the morning. I've been up since six thirty last morning and worked all day, and then drove to Bosco. We rode around. Luke just cranked out that video, and I stayed with him to make sure he didn't fall asleep. And now we're gonna go back to Bosco and go ride all day. We'll probably stay up till two o'clock in the morning again. So it's gonna be a long freaking week. But this is the part you guys miss, but we gotta put in the work so you guys enjoy some good videos. So please stay to the end, enjoy, and comment, and like, and subscribe if you so desire. Thank you guys. Hey. Hey.